What? People said they like the news intro. I'm trying stuff, okay, people? All right, hey, anyway, hi. Welcome to Let's Talk FGO News Desk. Because <laughs> it's funny. Uh, not only did we not talk about this on the, the previous week's show, which isn't out yet, except for audio format. If you're a patron, you can, give me a, you can literally give me a dollar right now and get the show in audio format. But anyway, that show's not out yet. But also, this is going to start before the next show is shot also. I know, it's a little confusing. But yeah, basically... We do Let's Talk FGO News Desk when there's news coming out that we aren't going to hit in the new show, or that's going to happen before we hit the new show, and that obviously wasn't announced in time for us to talk about in the old show. It may be entirely that the current week's show comes out after this has happened. I don't know what Editor Lucky is doing right now. I'll leave that up to him. He's doing something cool. Whatever. Anyway, we are here to talk about the 4 million downloads campaign, which has been announced. It's uh, been percolating as rumors for all days. But uh, it's finally here, and uh, we officially at Let's Talk FGO would like to say we called it because we called it, and we told you so. All right, that's enough getting dunked on. Let us really quickly break down this so-called five-part campaign. So first of all, there's a commemorative login bonus. Log in for seven days during the event. Get your things. You get a summon taken a day, and then everything else is uh, times four. Yes, we lose three. The worst thing is you lost three apples. On the other hand, we just had an event that gave out a shitload of apples, so, you know, you caught up a little. Uh, but, I mean, there's no point in being too disappointed, that's usually how it goes. We should be glad that they have kept up the seven tickets. I know I am, because that means I'm gonna have, like, ten tickets for Halloween. But yes, um, also the mana, the, like, 30 mana prisms might be a little, a little annoying to some people who are trying to get their mana prisms up, but a little much more productive at that time, some other time. Anyway, um... Yeah, part two is interludes, rank up quests, and mystic code quests will have halved AP cost. So all interludes, all rank up quests, and then if you happen to have not done them yet, the three mystic code quests will be on half AP during this time period. And yes, the third part is the login streak bonus updated. We are switching from fangs to bones. I'm a little sad to see fangs go because I think I only have like 80 of them as opposed to hero proofs, of which I have like 300. But uh, people will like the bones. Part four is a double chance of super and great success for this limited time period. And then part five is the servant rank up quests part five. I will cover that in a second. First, we need to talk about the Formian downloads pickup summon. That'll be going from 1017 to 1024 in case we haven't mentioned when this is coming out. And you can't infer from the graphics that are on the screen. But here we are. Uh, John Dark Alter returns. Don't worry, there's going to be a wanted. It'll be up before her banner goes live, pretty sure. Anyway, um, but that's basically it. It's just a Jolter banner, and then there are is a slight rate up on three new three star CEs. There is Hydra Dagger, uh, Fragarak, and Inverted Moon of the Heavens, and this means that Clock Tower, Beast of the Billows, and Self Gios Scroll will leave um, the Story Summon after this period. So I hope you like them. Now you can get other stuff you don't like. Actually, that's not entirely true. Um, Inverted Moon and uh, Fryerack might actually be useful because they're related to crit stars. And Hydra Dagger is actually pretty unique because it gives you an increased death success chance. But anyway, nobody cares about that. You care about Jolter and you care about the rank ups. Very quickly, allow me to illustrate the appropriate rank order, rank up order that will be coming. Day number one will improve uh, Sasaki Kojiro's skill. Day two will improve the skill of Caster Coup. Day three will improve the skill of Caesar. Day four will improve the skill of Coup Proto. Day five, everybody's looking forward, will improve the skill of Emia. That'll be his Hawkeye bonus. Day six, which I'm personally looking forward to, will improve one of the skills of regular old Lancer Liz, which is great. And then day seven will improve a skill of Siegfried. Uh, if you want details on what those increases will be, stay tuned. We'll probably outline them all in the show that's upcoming. Anyway, uh, let's see, how long has this been going? Yeah, we're under five minutes. This is about your 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 needed time. I will go ahead and bid you adieu. Keep an eyeball out for a Let's Talk FGO Wanted on Jolter. Keep an eye out for new episodes of Let's Talk FGO, our as-yet-unreleased week's show. Uh, we have a voice on, and we talk for like two hours, so that's cool. I will see you guys in this week's Let's Talk FGO, and also the one for the week in the last. And, uh, 
whenever FGO News comes out. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.